what is up guys ad here back with another destiny child video here on the channel and in today's video everyone we are going to be overviewing the ragnar burst as you can see we do have the wisdom raga raja on screen and i'll be trying to guide you all throughout this portion of the raid event as it is fairly difficult compared to the level 30 version of the normal raid so let's get started here with the bursters now of course if you guys are newer players you probably won't have too many of these bursters leveled up but you veteran players should have a decent amount of these units leveled up and uncapped as we do have here the first slot of course being the new water type attacker in tokika as you can see i did manage to fully uncap and ignite her so we do have the burst scaling from level 1 to 70 standard for all of the bursters and we have her burst above here being final burst plus 40 percent all allies incoming dot debuff damage minus 50.6 percent here at full burster status as for the second burster category here everyone we do have the slots two being virupa nirdi isolate and this be i do have all of them at full uncap as well as this be as full ignition as for my burst buff here we do have final burst plus 6.6 percent all allies attack plus 30.8 percent as for the third slot here we do have math that's arat leo and lupin now i do have math that and lupin at full ignition full uncap as well as arat at plus 5 8 out of 12 ignition and for my burst buff here we do have final burst plus 10.5 percent all skill damage defense plus 33.3 percent as for slot 5 here we do have seth of course the slot 5 will always be the previous ragnar break boss so definitely hold on to your boss copies as they'll be usable in the next ragnar break burst so we do have seth here as for my uncap i do have him at plus 3 unfortunately ignition level 0 and we do have final burst plus 1.7 percent and all allies weak point attack final blow plus 32.2 percent as for slot 5 here everyone we do have the soul carta being the new soul carta tokika's uninvited guest which gives me a burst or buff of final burst plus 10 percent and all allies all skill damage defense plus 42.5 percent and for the final slot here being slot six we do have the welcome soul carta our own world and forbidden fruits here two of the three i do have at plus five status and our own world here at base uncap so for my burster buff here on the last slot i do have final burst plus 5.3 percent and all allies max hp plus 3400 so depending on your current uncaps your soul carta investment all of these levels will be different for yourself of course it does vary upon ignition and ignition does scale these burster levels quite a bit so you can can see the categories in which I do have ignited units on the levels are higher than the others now just to dive into wisdom raga raja's skill set a bit you can see based on the skill set we do have a ton of defense in our kit on the tap skill here we do have the grant plus 80 percent defense to self here towards the end as well as the slide skill here granting tap skill damage defense plus 30 percent to self for 40 seconds on the slide skill and for the draft skill here we do have the rapid growth which increases attack and defense by 55 percent as well as decreasing skill final blow and skill defense to self for 40 seconds on the drive and for the leader buff here we do have debuff resistance plus 40 percent debuff duration cut minus 60 percent all skill defense plus 80 percent except for weak point attributes for all allies and unable to use focus buffs against wisdom raga raja as for the battle buffs here we do have boss skill gauge charge speed up battle buff 2 we do have boss disables petrify silence confuse stun sleep effect and time based to debuff immunity and for battle buff three here we do have bosses defense up tap skill damage defense up which based on this skill set for wisdom raga raja she does nerf virupa quite a bit as i was explaining in my should you summon or skip for tokika i definitely wanted to invest into her as she will be excelling very well here against the burst for wisdom raga raja so if you did happen to invest into tokika you should definitely have an easy time here for the first few levels but later on you will need more investment into your supporter units here as i do happen to have arats here ignited a bit as well as lupin and hopefully nearly as well as leo can hold up now to overview the team comp here everyone will be diving into my units we do have tokika fully ignited plus six we do have nearly here plus six status unignited arats plus six eight out of twelve ignition leo plus six lupin plus
plus six for ignition and for the skill order here we are running tap slide slide on tokika slide here for nearly tap slide slide for arat and for leo here we are running slide tap and loop in one slide three taps as for the drive order everyone i am running nearly drive into arat's drive and ending off with leo drive as well as the arat's leader skill of course you can try out the leo leader skill as well as the nearly leader skill if you would like to now for some other recommendations of units here for the ragnabur side of the event if you are happening to die a ton and don't happen to have much sustainability i would suggest to change out nearly for pure smile neptune here as she does provide a substantially lower amount of double edged sword compared to nearly but she does have heal here on her slide skill as well as the drive skill here does grant a life link so that would be one recommendation i do have here for the burst side of the game if you are struggling in the early levels as i know many of you would like to obtain the wisdom raga raja costume i would definitely suggest to sub in neptune and for additional survivability here on the raid you could definitely add in more tap skills onto leo so he could help with the bleed damage that's raga raja is applying to your roster as for another unit you could use we do have newbie mona here and which you can replace Arats with her and just set newbie mona to slide and a bunch of taps here so she can provide vampirism allowing for more survivability here in the burst side of the game so you'll definitely want to add in newbie mona as newbie mona alongside a units like neptune would be a big increase in survivability and last but not least for some healer options here to add into your composition if you guys do happen to have messier she's pretty decent if you guys would like to add her into the composition here for the barrier from her slide skill and of course her drive skill does heal as well and if you are an older player and do happen to have the collaboration exclusive in Rin, you could also use Rin as well as Rin here does have heal on the slide skill and it does happen to have a very strong drive skill here as well, healing a ton of your allies. Now for my final tips here of Ragnar Burst, always make sure to try and manually use your drive skills. So make sure to set your settings to auto skill only and make sure to set your game speed to either one time speed or two times speed. But with that being said, that'll pretty much do it for the Ragnar Burst guide here against wisdom raga raja make sure to let me know in the comment section below if this guide was helpful to you at all and hopefully it did help you out a bit and i know for you beginner players it's definitely tougher and very upsetting if you can't obtain the costume here but don't worry too much you could always obtain it from the rebirth lab in exchange for blood gems after the event is up so just keep in mind ragna burst is a pretty late game a difficulty for the veteran players as well as the players who invest a ton into the ragna break side of the game so don't feel too bad if you can't accomplish the level one and beyond but before you go everyone make sure to leave a like on this video as well as make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are enjoying the destiny child content and would like to see more of it but with all of that being said i'll see you all in the next destiny child video as always thank you all so much for watching